Hey guys, Dragon here, and welcome back to Need for Speed Heatway. Today, we are testing the Porsche 911 Targa 4 GTS 2018. I've never seen this Porsche before. What year? Is it 2018? Huh. Never heard of this thing until I saw it in the game, to be honest. Let's go to the garage, see what engines will be need. And the live tune, the same as always. Hmm, I wanted to slide there a little bit, which is nice. Maybe it won't be a struggle to drift or something, I don't know. Let's go see the engine swap that you need. Good news, we got a new couch. Go on, make yourself comfortable. You're looking for the 599 horsepower 3.8 liter flat six. 276 thousand dollars for that one. There's no other engine with a higher potential horsepower. Unfortunately, it looks like it is the most expensive engine for this car, but at least that price is not super high. The exhaust sound, let me just turn off the overrun. Fully aggressive. One up from stock. Fully metallic. Let's go see if this thing can race, drift, and go off-road. Man, the more I play this, the more I drive what cars that I've driven in the actual goal well, doing the story mode, the more I realize that on all, of, on all of them I turn the traction control on. When I was just driving for fun, I turned the, the traction control off. Because it was on. We do not want it, we do not want that on. We want the traction control off. So the car can drift and all those things. Begin. Let's see if this thing can drift. Yeah, it's willing to drift. Pretty easy, actually. It'll slide. Oh, 
problems whatsoever. Now for a speed test. Take a look at them right now. I'm gonna check at the end of the race, perhaps. Definitely get to pass. Now we're gonna go drift it and see what we can get. So far, there's five really amazing drifters. Let me turn that down, force down, and swap on. The showcase parts and the drift parts. Okay, down in the spring box. Let's see what this thing's got. Wondering where it'll be, I mean... It needs to do a lot to become one of the best drifter, drift cars, but... We shall see. Some cars have been pulling 330,000 on the track. Only a few have managed to do that. Ooh, it likes to hold the drift. Nice. Thousand. 
what you're looking for when you're playing on a hard difficulty like I am. You're more looking towards a 90,000 per lap than a car. Even with doing that trick. Doesn't pull much. It's not bad. Kinda saw that one coming. Really messed that turn up right now. We've got five other choices that'll blow that score out of the water on the hard difficulty. I mean, you've got the Mazda RX-7, Corvette Grand Sport, uh, Corvette Z06, I, I knew I was going to for forget these names at some point. Then what was it? The SRT Viper, Porsche Carrera GTS. It was a Porsche. A Porsche that did very recently. Well, I did it yesterday, but don't remember now. I need the rally parts. All the rally parts. You can go off road. Let's see what this thing can do. So right now. It can only achieve a 2 out of 3, depending on how good it is on the off-road. Mark triple special. And fast travel. some, but it's not pulling off enough drifting. Perhaps it's too slow? I don't really know. But like I said, all this thing can achieve is about a 2 out of 3 right now. Past the racing easy. Now let's see what it does here.
done so far. No handling issues. We'll see if it can pull the average of every other car. I said perhaps this cause acceleration might be the only issue with it. But it gets a two out of three. It can race on it and off road. About it though. Let's go to the garage, sell the engine, sell the car and see what's next. Oh no, wait, though. Why'd I do that? I'm like, well, I'm on wet. First, gotta swap out the engine, of course. Put in the old engine. Sell that engine. And. Oh, I pressed the wrong button again. Oi! Go there. Go back there, click once, go here, 96, okay.
Let's go see what car is next. Man, BMW M3 GTR, there's no way even like, I will do it, it's just uh, there's no way I'm going to swap the engine. There is sadly a better engine than the engine that's already in the car. Which sucks, but I'm not going to do it. I know it might up the car's performance, but I'm not getting rid of that sweet sound. So this thing, two hours, I give it a two out of three. Like I said, its acceleration might be the only issue, but next is another Porsche. The Porsche Panamera. And then for today, we will also be doing the Corvette Z01, Aston Martin DB11, Acura NSX, or Acura. Is that five or am I miscounting? Oh, duh, I'm coming from this one, so it's only four. Okay, if you want to see more Need for Speed Heat, there will be a link in the description to the playlist. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like, share it if you really liked it, comment, subscribe if you wish, and I shall see you guys in the next video. Peace out.